Oh, with a quick little live, man. Um, recapping last night's LSU Iowa game. Sorry, I didn't get a chance to talk about it last night. Had a lot going on, but um, I watched the game, and um, you know, we're gonna discuss it, man. A few things. Um, but first off, man. Um, everyone, uh, if you want to reach out to me, DM me, holler at me, whatever the case may be. All that info gonna be down in the description box. So um, come holler at your boy, man. Excuse me, looking a little rough, man. Um, be headed to the ball soon, man. So don't, you know, excuse me for the rough appearance. Um, but yeah, man. Uh, everyone, you know, uh, LSU lost uh, opening statement. Then I'm gonna get to everybody. Of course, we know by now LSU lost to Iowa last night. I think the final was 94 to 87 or something like that. Um, Caitlin Clark did her thing, man. 41 points, 12 assists um you know really like i said really did a thing yo um shout out to her congrats to her um you know she gonna really kill it in the wnba because i feel like you know all due respect to her teammates now at iowa she gonna play with some really some hoopers you know in the wnba so her full repertoire of shooting and passing and all that gonna really you know what i'm saying be opened up i feel like on the next level um, you know, so I tip my cap to them, man. You know, hey, we talk the talk, we walk the walk, but look, man, we lost and we here for all, all the smoke, man. That everybody got the trash talk, all that. We here for it. We ain't backing down, we ain't running. It is what it is. Still proud national champs. Um, a couple of takeaways from the game, then I'm gonna get to what I think about Reese and Van Litt's decision. Um I felt like Kim Mulkey did a bad job last night of, you know, defending Caitlin Clark. Um, I was surprised, very so shocked and surprised that Flojé did not guard Caitlin Clark till like two minutes left in the game when the game was pretty much over. Well, I was under the impression that, you know, um, Flojé was going to be guarding her the majority of the game. I mean... She guarded Kiki Rice at UCLA. She guarded the little point guard at Middle Tennessee, who was the, you know, top scorer or whatever. And uh, Floje, you know, talked about, you know, the excitement of that matchup. And the matchup never happened for whatever reason. <laughs> like, I was, you know, very disappointed, man, that Floje wasn't on. And now, look, Clark would have probably cooked her too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, Kaitlyn Clark is that good, but you got to put your best perimeter defender against somebody like Kaitlyn Clark. Or if you decide to not do that, you got to send double teams away. Like you can't just sit there and let Haley Van Litt, who's going to get a lot of heat for this, you can't sit there and just let her guard Kaitlyn Clark one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, Kaitlyn Clark cooked her for 40 last year when she was at Louisville. Like I was very shocked and disappointed in Kim Mokey's game plan when it came to defending Caitlin Clark. Um, you know, but other than that, man, look, fun season. It was a lot of fun. Um, it would have been nice to go back to the final four this year, but we felt came up short and it is what it is. Hats off to Iowa. Um, one more thing, man, before I get to um everybody's comments and questions and stuff. Andrew Reese and Haley Van Litt can make a decision at any time now they have until tomorrow to decide to go to the WNBA or come back or hey maybe even transfer I doubt transferring but who knows you know um you know selfishly and I think logically I think they both should return to LSU Andrew Reese is a really good player um it's another thing last night, man. And there's no excuse, no excuse. I would want fan square, but after she hurt her ankle, she wasn't quite as explosive, you know, as she was earlier in the game. But um, she's a really good player, man. Um, but I think she has a little more polishing to do in her offensive game. I want to see Angel Reese get a 10 to 15 foot efficient face up jumper. She gets that, she's probably unguardable. Not to mention, um, you know, I think, like, i seen a projection. She'll be, like, the eighth pick in the WNBA if she went this year. 
Um, but if she came back, she got a chance to go top three. Paige Becker's going to be the number one pick next year. But Angel got a chance to be in that top three, two or whatever, if she came back and polished up her offensive game just a little bit more. Um, I like, and I'm not even getting into the NIL stuff and all that. I mean, you know, I know a lot of people feel like, and, and it's true that NIL will probably pay her more, more than her WNBA salary. Um, but I just feel like she should come back. You know, um, now if she go, hey, kudos to her, but I think she should come back, polish up her game a little more, and be a hired, you know, try to win a championship next year and try to get a better draft grade for next season um and the same for Haley van lit man look she gonna get a lot of flack people gonna be mad talk about a bad saying look she had a very disappointing year with lsu um i was one of the people who thought was very excited when we got her and i thought she was gonna really ball with us but it just this year just didn't work out um she's a better player than what she's shown um i would like to see her come back I know a lot of people like good riddance and all that other stuff, but I mean, she can't be worse next year than she was this year. I would like to see Van Litt and Angel Reese return. I think they both should return logically. Um, then you're talking about bringing back the same team um, with Samaya Smith coming back off the bench, with uh, Jada Richard coming in to give us depth at the point guard position. Um, and then you have a chance. You got team Kaylin Clark's gone. <laughs> like Camilla Cardosa's gone. Though South Carolina's gonna be very good again next year, even without Cardosa. But you got a chance to go out there and, and, and try to win it again next year, man. So, but anytime now we could get a decision from them, and we'll see what happens. But all right, let's go. Uh, what's up, Morris and Johnson? I want everyone to come back besides <laughs> There it is, man. There it is. I get it, man. I get it. I get it. But I mean, who's gonna be the point guard next year? I mean, I, I mean, that's just me. Who's gonna be the starting point guard? Um, I like last year Paul. I don't think she's a starting point guard. Um, Jada Richard coming in is very good. I don't know if she's quite ready to be a starting point guard as a true freshman. Um Haley Van Little be better next year if she came back. But I get it. People tired of her. I'm not upset with her defense last night. It is what it is. It's like, I don't, she shouldn't have been guarding Caitlin Clark anyway. But, you know, I, I think she could be a better player, man. Like, with a, with a full offseason, um, with motivation, I think she'll be a better player for us next year. I'd like to see her come back. Uh, what's up, Link Hellerfield? Congrats. I apologize if I said it wrong. Congrats, Iowa, but we know they wanted those because the win so bad. But good game that Caitlin can shoot. I mean, you know, they won, man. I mean, they won, man. I, I, I seen the map. I shared the map as far as who the country was rooting for. 47 states was pulling for Iowa as opposed to Louisiana, Mississippi, South Carolina was pulling for, L for LSU. Um, but they beat us fair and square, man. It was no, I was worried about the officiating. They had questionable calls here and there. That last foul on Angel was not an offensive foul. Uh, and it could have cut the lead to potentially seven with two minutes left. But, you know, we lost fair and square. They beat us. Shout out to them for that, man. And yes, Caitlin can shoot. Uh, with some young, uh, young Citrus, we allowed nine wide open threes. That's unacceptable. Um, but yeah, fun season. Yeah, I mean the defense was bad. We gave up 94 points. Um, the defense was absolutely horrendous. I mean, you had them. I mean, we weren't even getting back on defense, man. Like off of made baskets, like they were able to get transition opportunities. Um, you know, it, it was just it wasn't a good performance, man. And that third quarter where I mean we couldn't make anything. Moro just she just couldn't get the, the bunnies man she missed so many bunnies last night that she normally make with ease you know but um like i said you just tip your cap to iowa man uh you just give give them the credit uh caitlin clark is that good i'm, I'm still disappointed that flagey wasn't guarding her um i wanted to see how the game would have turned out if flagey was was the main defender on her or if we decided to double team with two with it, Van Litt and someone else. 
Um, UConn will be ready for that. I think they'll have a much better game plan. <laughs> I do than what we did. Um, I do think Iowa will win that game though. Um, I think we're gonna see South Carolina versus Iowa again, and I think South Carolina gonna win it this time. Um, I think they they big. They got long perimeter defenders. Um, when you got somebody like a Raven Johnson, who you just you can't leave her wide open at the perimeter like they did last year. So I think South Carolina, I think they'll beat UConn, but I think South Carolina will get them in the national championship. Uh, at the end of the day, South Carolina going to win it all, but I am an LSU fan, so uh, don't get it misunderstood. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I think I think South Carolina going to take it. I think they're going to get their redemption from losing to Iowa last year, and uh, they're going to be an undefeated national champ, you know. Which is why I would love Andrees and Van Litt to come back. Like, let's go at them next year, you know. Uh, what's up, Malik Savages? UConn is good in men's and women's. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, they're really good, you know, especially the men. My goodness, man. I mean, they're beating people by 30 or up by 30 in every NCAA tournament game. That's unheard of, man. That's really unheard of, yo. Uh, their whole game plans was give into Clark and shoot a three. Yeah, I I, I just I, I don't get it defensively, man. I, I love Kim Mokey and I'm so proud to have as our coach. So don't I'm not gonna put that out there. Ain't no fire Kim or no foolishness like that. But I just think she had a bad a bad game. I think she just had a bad game. It happens to the greats, yo. Um, I'll take Mikhail at point. <laughs> I think that's yeah, Mikhail not really a point guard though, man. Um, you know, Michaela is more of a, a off guard, a more of a small forward type of player, man. Um, I'm I'm interested to see Michaela's development, man. I want to see how she does going forward. Uh, what's up, Brian Turner? Uh, Iowa was just the better team today. LSU has the number one recruiting class coming in. Um, you know they do got a good class. Cause I think US. You talking about bat, women basketball, right? Um, I think. You know, uh, South uh, USC got like a great class coming in to play with Juju, but I mean, you know, like I said, I'm frustrated about the Flage thing, but everything else is kind of like it is what it is, yo. It was, it was their time, man. Um, I'm only mad because of the hype I had on her. I was talking major before. Yeah, we we but we we all were, yo. Like she she disappointed. She had a disappointing year. Like she definitely did. Um. I do believe she's a better player than what she showed, Haley Van Litt. Um, I want her back. I would like to see her back. Now, I think her decision is going to tell me a lot about her. Uh, look, she, poor thing, she getting a lot of flack today, man. Like, some people are just not nice people, man, and are not forgiving. Like, they probably calling that girl all, oh, she's a meme with the doing this and Clark, you know, hitting the three. Like, I mean, she, she, she going to have a rough day, man. Um, I don't think she's quite ready for the WNBA. Uh, but do she even want to come back to LSU? She could, she could go somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Do she even want to come back to LSU and deal with our high expectations? You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I, I'm very interested to see their decisions, yo. I really, really am. What's up, Dream Chaser? Hashtag CJ. Caitlyn was amazing, can't lie. Yeah, she was, man. She definitely was. I, I mean, she's Steph Curry, man. Uh, it was more of LSU terrible um, game plan, in my opinion. I agree. Now, she still was great, you know, but I, I just don't get leaving Van Litt on her one-on-one -on -one the whole game, pretty much, man. I, I just, I don't understand that, man. When you have an athletic defender like Flage, man, I, I, I don't, I don't understand. And you know what get me with these reporters, man? Because I listened to the post game because I wanted to see if somebody would ask her that. And all they asked her was, oh, did you think about doing anything different? Or being... Like, nah, man, be blunt and be like, hey, why wasn't we thought that Flage was going to be the main defender on Caitlin Clark? Why wasn't she? That should have been asked to Kim Mokey. But these doggone reporters, all they worried about is, what she told her in the, they weren't about the, the, the soap opera stuff. They worried about the, what she told her in the line. Like, you know, 
why y'all wouldn't opt for the anthem? You know, they worried about all this other stuff, man. Instead of asking a meat and potatoes question, why wasn't Flaje the primary defender on Caitlin Clark? And we probably going to never know the answer to that because none of these messy reporters asked her that. You know, like, it's come on, man. Uh, Iowa's team is built slash designed to set up shots for Caitlin Clark. That's pretty good coaching. Yeah, they did a good job, man. Um, and, you know, they run that zone because they know, obviously, that one-on-one -on -one basketball, they probably don't have the athletes to match up with LSU's athletes. Um, and LSU got great shots still, even in, with that zone. And it just, man, Angel rolling her ankle was, was tough because she just wasn't as explosive the rest of the game. And Morrow missed a lot of easy shots, man. Like, she missed a lot of easy shots. And um, I mean that 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 just was it. And they were, Caitlin was very efficient, and she got help. You know, she got help from uh Martin and uh the other girl, man, who had like, like sixteen or eighteen points. And to me, that was really the difference, man. Uh, they've been praying on our downfall all season long. We get hate from every fan base. It's cool. They could come with it. You know, I seen like I said, I seen the map yesterday about who all everybody was rooting for but at the end of the day look i mean what they thought we was gonna do they thought because we lost we was gonna start cursing people out or we was gonna discredit caitlin clark or we was gonna fight that's what they expected us to do we took our butt whippings we shook their hand practically actually we hugged them and we praised them for beating us and you know and we took our hell you know what i'm saying so i mean it is what it is they I know one thing, they, they could talk all this noise about Angel Reese and LSU and all that they want, but let Angel Reese decide to come back. They're going to be like, oh, my gosh, we got to – because Caitlin Clark can't save them next year. You know, like they're going to be pulling hard for South Carolina, but LSU going to be able to match up with them better next year. So if Angel, if Angel was to come back, Angel would be the dominant post presence in that game. Um, I thought this year LSU was the only team that could have beaten South Carolina. Obviously, Tennessee had them beat, but I'm saying like as far as teams at the Elite Eight or later, like I, I, I think South Carolina ready more ready for Iowa this year. Um, but yeah, I mean it is what it is. Let them enjoy it. At the end of the day, only one team gonna win it this year, and everybody else, you ain't did nothing, and we still a a a champ, you know. Uh, who you got in the men's championship? Uh, I got UConn beating Purdue. Um, I think UConn beat Alabama. I think Purdue beat NC State. And I think we're going to have a UConn-Purdue national championship. And I think UConn, I think UConn go back to back. Uh, you kind of won't allow those threes. I agree. Gino going to do, you know, Gino going to do a better job, man. Uh, Gino going to do a better job of, um, you know, defending Caitlin Clark. Like, he's not going to leave, you know, one player who he know clearly can't guard her, guarding her, you know. Um, definitely want to see South Carolina versus Iowa. That That's what we're we going to we get. We're going to get South Carolina, Iowa. I, I definitely think that's what, what's going to end up happening. Um, Angel Reese is very athletic, but her footwork is a tad choppy which is typical of people who are very fast and athletic. Basically, she's talented enough to not be that fundamentally sound. Yeah, um, and for me, man, like, I like her post game. Um, the WNBA going to be a little, you know, she she showed that, I mean, she, she, she held her own against Lauren Betts. She held her own against Camilla Cardoza. Um, you know, she showed that she could bang with bigger women, you know. So, um, but for me, man, on that next level, you know, you don't want to have to do that every each night in and night out in the WNBA, you know, in college is only like three girls like that, you know, with Betts and Cardoza, really two that I could think of. Um, so other nights you have an athletic advantage where you could really bang through women, your size or a little smaller. That's why I feel like she should come back, man, to develop that that 10 to 15 foot jumper to get it efficiently you know and it'll make her unstoppable because she's quick and athletic um by the way go jay 
Yeah, man. Um, shout out to Southern, man. Southern beat beat LSU last night, man. Twelve to seven, man. Shout out to Southern for that. Um, yeah, LSU baseball. I know I don't really get into it much early on, but man, LSU baseball ain't looking too hot right now. But yeah, big shout out to Southern, man. Um, you know, would love to see them winning the swag, man, and getting back in that NCAA tournament, yo. Shout out to them getting it done. Uh, what's up, Wick TV? Are you still an Eagles fan? Yes. <laughs> like, I would never stop being an Eagles fan. Uh, LSU win last year was more sweet since it was the championship game got to finish. Yeah, I mean, you know, this game was probably a little more hyped up and probably a little more viewed because, you know, Angel Reese really became a national star after the championship game for the whole, you know, doing that to Caitlin Clark. So it was probably a little, as much people watched last year, it's probably more people that watched last night. Um, you know, but, yeah, you know, we got a championship. You know, um, I would got to win it all. For all the people bashing LSU today, whoever they pull it for got to win it all. If they don't, then, you know, hey, <laughs> LSU is still a champion. You know, not the present champion, but, those girls all those girls won championships. Uh, what's up, Gay City Blue Devil? What's good, bro? Time for baseball. What's up, Mr. Dugar? What's going on? Yeah, it is, man. Um, Braves off to a hot start. Uh, three and three and one. Um, LSU not doing so well. <laughs> LSU baseball not doing so well. Uh, two and seven in the SEC, and you know got beat by Southern at home last night. So it's, it's some trying times. For, for, you know, two LSU defending champs got beat last night. And so uh, we're going to see what happened. Uh, UConn men, do you think they could compete with NBA teams? No. <laughs> like, no. I mean, I know a lot of people feel like, you know, when you see a college team just dominating the way they do. Um, you know, because for one, NBA players are going to be more motivated to play against a college team. Cause they a lot of these guys, let's let's be honest, they're tanking. You know, like the the Charlotte Hornets, Detroit Pistons, Washington Wizards. You know, they're not really trying to win like that. So if you put them against college teams, now you're insulting them as competitors. So at that point, yeah, they're gonna go out there and make an example of college kids. So I, I don't believe so. Um, WNBA is a whole another level. She got in foul trouble early. That's another thing, too, about Angel, man. She going to have to, like, the WNBA, man, she going to have to stay out of foul trouble, man. Like, she, I think she should come back. I really do. I think she's a really good player, but I do think that she should come back. You know, she got some things that she could she could kind of tweak up a little bit, you know. Um, What's up, Philly? Philly, what's going on? Damn, we look good first half, then folded. Uh too many easy missed shots under the basket killed the second half. Yeah, man. Especially Morrow, man. Morrow really just missed a lot of gimme shots, yo. Like, I was surprised by that, man. Um, Because I thought Anissa Morrow was going to have a big night, you know. Um, And she missed. She got to her spots. She just. And then you could have seen also, like, early in the fourth quarter. It was times where she was at that free throw line. She didn't even shoot her face up three-point jumper, man, with something that. I think she shoots very well. Um, she never got into that three, that face up um, three pointer or mid range game like that, like that, man. She she kind of started losing confidence in that fourth quarter, man. But um, I want I want them to run it back, man. I really want them to run it back, and I think that you know they could win it all next year. I know UConn is going to be very very good. They be good next year. USC and obviously South Carolina go still be very good. But um, LSU gonna be in that top four to five teams that could win it all next year, and I want them to run it back. We ain't gotta worry about no Iowa. <laughs> when Caitlin Clark gone, Iowa kaput. So, um, you know, next year you gotta worry about the, you know, the Yukons, the the South Carolinas, the, you know, the USC's with Juju. You know, and um, and teams like that, man. So, uh, I want them to run it back. Uh, LSU beat themselves more than anything. Caitlin had a lot to do with it, <laughs> hitting, hitting them shots and getting them assists. But yeah, man, I, I just think poor coaching adjustments on her, and I just think missing a lot of, you know, makeable shots really did do them in as well. 
Uh, what's up, James? Said, uh, Aggie, I apologize if I said it wrong, yo. Uh, hi, Mr. Duga, Bam in the final four, road tired. Yeah, y'all are. Y'all, y'all in the final four, man. Shout out to Alabama for that. Um, you know, you know how I feel about y'all. Don't like y'all, can't stand y'all. But, I mean, I get credit when credit do, man. Um, you know, great win against North Carolina. Nelson really did his thing. And then, um, you know, Sears and that other guy. Oh, I forgot his name, man. The um, I think he had like five or six threes, man. Um, you know, they they shoot the lights out of the ball. Now they gotta go up against UConn and that seven foot two guy in the middle of the court, man. Um, Bama gotta make shots. Bama gotta really make threes to to keep this game competitive and to have a shot to get it done. Um, uh, why do people get mad whenever I say Angel Reese is a great player? I'm not even a women's basketball fan. I'm just going off of what I see. I don't know, man. People just really hate Angel Reese, and it's funny. Like, I just think it's hilarious because and, – and, and, and it's messed up because she showed a little vulnerability last night, you know, about how – I'm sure she gets – I mean, I see comments. You know, when I click on, you know, highlights of, of national people, not necessarily LSU stuff, but – you know of national publications and you see all the comments it's a lot of hate man people really hate this young woman man and you know it's funny but you know just keep going like i tell angel reese keep going yo like the haters gonna hate you a champion at the end of the day and you gonna be a, um, a, a first round WNBA draft pick whether that's this year or next year so uh keep going that's why i really want her to return to, to get her get back you know, um, get this team. Team will be a little more. Obviously, have played together a whole year. Will be a little more continuity. And you ain't gotta play nobody like Kevin Clark. <laughs> like there's nobody else in college ba basketball that's gonna do that. Like there's great players. Paige Beckers, Juju gonna be. You know the top headlines coming in the next year. Um, but you know they great, but they're not shooting from from half court. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. Um, yeah, it, it'll be, you know, I I want her to come back, man, because I want her to, to get her get back. Um, Andrew got the prize that truly matter. We got a hold off on the victory lap for Caitlin until she win that hard where you heard about the new transfer from uh New Mexico State. Um, Well, I, I heard we got a, a, a high school player from New Mexico that I just seen that that's averaging, but she in 2025. Um, that's averaging 35 points a game. So Kim got the train rolling, man. Kim got the train rolling. And we're going to still see what's out there in the port. I and mean, we're going to see if Angel and Van Little come back. So um, LSU will be back. LSU will be back in this position. But, yeah, you know, Kaylin is great, but she got to win. I mean, I don't think she got a great, a great team. I think she got a good team. I think, you know, they well coached and they execute what they try to do. But, um, you know, it's tough when you go up against talent, you know, against real, real talent. I mean, UConn is a little depleted, but they got talent and a legendary coach. And then South Carolina obviously got a great coach and a whole lot of talent and size and athleticism to throw her away, you know. So um, we're going to see what happens. Uh, what's up? Give me cash. Uh, you got celebrities dissing Angel Reese for getting that LSU woman just won the natty and LSU dominated that title game. I think Iowa put so much energy into beating LSU. Iowa ain't winning the damn thing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I seen that with the, the celebrity thing. You know, it's it's it's, it's, it's what it is. I, I it didn't bother me, you know, because it's like they they kind of wanna they wanna give it to Angel. Like, yeah, take that. You know, you. You embarrassed our superstar last year after the championship. Take that. But whatever. You know, like you said, if y'all don't win at all, all of this was for nothing. Angel still got a ring and she don't. So they got to win it all. I, I just I don't think they will. I just don't think I think Dawn team this year is more prepared for that. Dawn got shooting. You got Cardoso down low who nobody for I will be able to do anything with her. And then. You have shooting around her with Pow Pow and and Bria Johnson and Raven, you know, is is a better shooter now. Like last year they played off her. They can't do that this season. You know, and then you got Fluma Wiley off the bench, who I think is go is the next superstar in this game. Um 
Let's see. Let's see. What's up, Anthony Sonia? Uh, you're right. Reese needs more development in a few areas. Yeah, she just got a um, you know, especially that face up jump. She just just get you a face up jump. She shoots it. She just doesn't shoot it efficiently. You know, like keep working on that shot. Like shoot that shot hundreds of times a day or whatever the case may be. And I think after next year she'll be ready for the WNBA. You know, uh, what's up, Trey Lorenzo uh, Clark? Is the female Curry unstoppable? Yeah, she she's good, man. Um, she good though. WNBA is not college. Now, nah, I I think she gonna ball in the WNBA, man. I I, I think because what's gonna happen is, you know, she gonna go up against, you know, she gonna have teammates that's gonna be better to where not everything is solely on her. Um, and you can't just double her or do whatever. And she she could shoot. You know, she could. You know, I don't. There's not no super lockdown defenders in the WNBA. So I think she's going to still get her, yo. Um, but shout out to her. We're going to see what happens, man. But um, but all right, y'all, man. Let me run, man. Appreciate it stopping up with y'all, man. Um, I will be back live tonight as uh, we're going to switch gears to the NBA. As my Miami Heat got a big matchup with the New York Knicks tonight, trying to stay out of this playing situation. But, um... And also, I'm going to talk to y'all soon as far, as well as we find out um, Angel Reese and Haley Van Litt's decisions. But until then, man, y'all have a blessed one. Talk to y'all later. Go Tigers.